Hey everyone, it's Mithril. Welcome back to my Skillshare Diaries. This is going to be week two and three, where I've been documenting my progress and journey through my two-month Skillshare free trial. The first thing I did this week, which I don't have any footage for because I did it at work, was I completed this Microsoft Excel Essentials Level 1 Basics course by Alan Jarvis. I was really trying to explore other things that Skillshare offered other than art courses because I know that a lot of different kinds of channels look at Skillshare and recommend it and they really talk about all the different kinds of learning you can do. So I wanted to do different kinds of learning. Plus I was uh, sort of <laughs> free at work and I didn't have much to do so I wanted to do something productive and something that would help me and the company and this is what I chose. Uh, one thing I would like to note that I was looking into while I was taking the course is that a lot of teachers sell their courses on Udemy and put them on Skillshare. In fact, this particular course by Alan Jarvis about Excel and the course that I'm following right now on the video, which is Brent Eviston's figure drawing course, they're both on Udemy. And if you go on there sometimes, it'll be like hundreds of dollars, but Udemy has sales all the time, so nobody really pays that much. In reality, people pay around 10 to $20 for these courses. So what I'm trying to say is you can buy these courses if you don't really like the subscription model. Like many of these courses, especially the people who do make a lot of money uh, selling these courses and do it professionally, they put it on multiple places. So on Skillshare, you can have access to all of them or you can buy them individually. Anyways, a review of the Excel course. It was about three to four hours long, but I watched it on like 1.5 times speed. And he really started like from the super beginning, which was just like, how do you find Excel? How do you save files and stuff? Which I thought was cool because that might be really helpful to someone, like someone who's not me, maybe like someone older who's just wanting to improve their career and stuff. So I feel like, you know, it was a great course. It was for people like me and mine, like professionals who really need to figure it out. I've used Excel a bit for class projects and whatever, but I didn't have like all the super basics, all that basic knowledge that you get like say from taking a course and I got to fill in a lot of those gaps. For example, some stuff that I didn't really know that much about was like auto sums, custom sorts and lists, which were super cool. Uh, methods for continuing formulas to the left, right and down, merging cells together and enabling word wrap, which makes your cell labels a lot prettier and formatting them. Filters, sorts, a lot of keyboard functions and shortcuts. Those were super great and I knew some of it and I didn't know a lot of it and I'm looking forward to learning more. And I think the most important part is that there is a part two, which is like eight hours long. That's probably gonna start covering formulas. And then there's another 14 hour VBA programming course, which looks really hardcore and says that you can make applications with that knowledge. So I know that people pay a lot of money for these sorts of professional development courses on sites like Lynda and things like that, and that companies will pay for it. I thought this was really worth it, especially even if I was paying the $12 a month, I think if you use some of that time for professional development and learning courses and skills that will get you hired, I think that's well worth the money. So yeah, that was my experience learning a little basic Excel and I really want to do the other two courses before my trial is over. And I think I'll definitely keep this in mind when I'm deciding whether or not I want to continue and pay for the subscription past the end of the trial. Anyways, so back to the footage that is actually playing. Uh, this is me practicing from Brent Eviston's figure drawing course. and. I really like it so far, I've been enjoying it, and I feel like I've made a lot of progress in my practice with this course. Like, the way he teaches makes a lot of sense to me. Basically, he started with, you know, just doing gesture and figuring out, like, where the primary action line is and which way the movement is going and stuff. And then he's moved on to constructing the torso, and then he's connecting things onto the torso, so then we only focus on one thing at a time and it's not too complicated at once. And also, like, the pictures and the practice reels that are associated with each lesson are specifically curated to go along with that lesson. And, like, may whenever I'm looking at the torso, the torso is easy to see. And there's, like, different types of torsos because that's what I'm focused on. And then whenever we were covering the legs here, like, the pictures were very leggy <laughs> and focused on different poses of the legs. 
And that's what I really liked. Like if you watched my figuary video, that was uh, one of my main critiques of figuary, the fact that, you know, there were lessons and then there was a practice reel, but they didn't really coordinate with each other. And I guess it makes sense that this person who is paid to teach this would put a lot more thought and effort into coordinating them, but it's something that I really loved. And something specific that I would like to mention is that I've always been really confused about like the far side of the torso. You know, like whenever someone's like bending to the side, like they call it like the squash and the stretch. So the squash side has like this crease in the skin where you draw like, you can draw an angled line to represent that. But then the far side, um, I see a lot of teachers and courses, they just draw that like, you know, as a smooth curved line. And I always felt like that wasn't super, I don't know, adequate to express what that curve looks like because there's like a little dip. It's not like, it doesn't go out at the edge where, um, it doesn't, there's like a dip between the bottom of the rib cage and the top of the hips that goes inward, even where the skin is stretching away from the body. And I feel like I gained a lot of trust and respect for this course whenever he started drawing that in. And I was like, oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Like that's how you draw it because I feel like other artists simplify it to the point where they don't draw it at all. And that just made no sense to me. Anyways, I haven't really put as much time into Skillshare as I really want to. Like I spent three hours on the Excel course and five hours drawing things outside of the Excel course over weeks two and three. But I do feel myself learning a lot even through those five days where I spent like five hours total. So I guess I could look at it as maybe I shouldn't buy the subscription because I don't put that much time into it anyways. I don't know how much I'll use it in my normal life. But on the other hand, in the time that I have spent on it, I've made a lot of improvements. So maybe I don't need that many hours put in as long as I work really hard and stay consistent. I guess I'll see <laughs> in the next few weeks. Alrighty, thanks for checking in with me. I'll try to keep these videos short and sweet, so I will keep putting them out consistently. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.